folks so I'm sitting here in traffic and uh, right now we're on my way to go meet up with another beekeeper I'm gonna try to help him out and figure out a way to get those bees uh, chased on a out of there so who knows uh, hopefully this will make a good video and uh, stay tuned appreciate you watching So we're gonna get a couple of tables set up here. We got a 10 frame deep. Uh, so the idea, we're gonna try to set the little owl box thing right here on this table and then slowly smoke them out. See if we can't race them right into the box. Uh, concept is a little easier said than done. Uh, right now it's questionable to see the behavior of these bees. Uh, but you can see there's a nice big cluster. So if anybody spots the queen, Post a timestamp in the comments and I'll send you a coupon for a free ice cream. Okay, so here is a normal traditional owl box hive. You'll see it's hollow on the inside. So that's what we're kind of working with. Nice little cavity. Beautiful swarm trap for bees. Beautiful. Very well behaved bees. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we can just do a little finagling. Okay, so ideally, just kind of scoop the, scoop the bees off the front here. These bees got these built so far up. See, they got the comb in there. Okay, so we tried going low. No luck. We got another hole here. So now, the next step is to put the smoker right in there. And nice white smoke. So we tried to run the bees out as best we can. Now Paul is going to try to gently lift this up here. And then tip it. Uh, we got a nice little pile. I don't think they're happy. Of course not. Especially at night time. It started just about an hour sooner maybe. Yeah, huh? maybe. All right, folks, so welcome back. So this is a follow-up video. We're gonna go queen hunting. Uh, it was a little dark last night, so we kind of ran out of daylight. Not too sure if the queen was in there or not, but we got them out of the log at least. Without further ado, let's check it out. We got some bees in here. So we shall see. Um, I just wanted to take a quick peek.
Got a nice little spread of bees across the frames. It's always good to see. We got old drawn out comb in there, so they should be happy. She is. There's the queen, folks. Not the huge fat mama, but for a feral, she's doing good. Okay, folks, so we came to do what we wanted to do. Just a follow-up video to see if we got the queen in the box, which we did. Uh, the other bees that are in the log, uh, Paul is gonna leave the bees in there with the eggs and essentially they should be able to start a new colony so excellent way to kind of split some bees without doing a cutout i like it and uh hope you enjoy watching all right folks so mission accomplished uh that was nice to see the queen it's always nice to see the queen when you do a removal you know just takes that curiosity out of your mind gives you a little bit of ease uh, these bees are gonna go ahead and clean up those uh, older frames and uh, that queen will be laying in no time at all and like I mentioned that other uh, log hive uh, that should be filling up nice too so it looks like there was a decent handful of population in there so it doesn't take bees long to acclimate and uh, that's where we are so hope you enjoy watching <laughs>